uh, punished drink, yes. So uh, the unseen, pretty much all of the unseen um, versions of Battletech mechs are based on, um, I think it was Robotech was the game, or maybe it was Macross, I forget. It was some Japanese series, and a lot of the designs for the early mechs before the whole legal debacle um, were actually just straight anime designs. Uh, so, like, and, and if you're part of the Discord, I think it was Erst posted a picture of, like, the old anime, and if you go and look at them, like, literally, those designs are just straight they're, they're just straight ripoffs. Like, some of the mech designs, like the Warhammer, uh, the Marauder, the Marauder 2C, the Rifleman, are just literally straight ripped from that franchise entirely. And, and the modern day designs still are vaguely reminiscent of those older designs. Like, if you look at the Warhammer and the Marauder especially, like, you can definitely see the inspiration in the modern designs. Um, the Marauder 2C, not so much. The Rifleman, as well, is another one of those that, like, you can see it. Yeah, the Archer, as well. The Archer is another one where it's basically just, it is a shot for shot, just a straight ripoff. Um, so yeah, if you didn't know, the, the Unseen debacle led to a bunch of lawsuits that only just got resolved in the last decade or so. Um, and, and the owners of the Battletech IP were forced to change a lot of their designs because they didn't have the license, and again, it's a whole thing, you can look it up if you're interested, but there's, there's like a whole saga of legal drama involving all that. Yeah, the lambs as well. The, the lambs as well. And Sheepy AU rolling in, good to see you, Sheepy. Thanks for joining us on a, well, Saturday for me, but Sunday for you. Good to see you, and hopefully, while early, the day is treating you right so far. Now that you're on the back half of the weekend. Uh, let's see. Alright, let's 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 head out to Promised Land. I am going to start the repairs first, though, because since we're in a conflict zone, like, the cost is not going to go down just because we're moving to another planet. Uh, sadly, we did lose one of the lasers in this... Um, in this Thunderbolt because of the damage, but we have another one to replace it. Outstanding. And the Zeus. Man, this Zeus. So here, here's the thing. Here's the thing about Zeus. The Zeus is a fucking workhorse of a mech, okay? In, in the fiction and, and apparently in this game as well. I like the Zeus because it is just the quiet, unassuming workhorse. Nobody sings songs about the Zeus. Nobody writes tall tales about the Zeus. But you know what? The Zeus is going to show up. It's going to do the fucking job. It's going to do it well. And it's going to come back in one piece over and over and over again. Like, at, as, a heavy, as, as a heavy platform at, at the 80 ton weight limit, at, as a heavy mech, it is always solid always reliable like and that's the thing is like you never hear people praising the zeus like you know you hear the charger gets all the praise uh you know the warhammer the marauder the orion like all of those other mechs they're always getting talked up like they're the greatest thing since sliced bread the zeus no one ever talks about the zeus outstanding platform outstanding platform And, and again, in the game at least, this particular Zeus has been a workhorse for us. And this is the default design. I have not done anything with this mech. We, the only thing I've done with this is, uh, I think, yeah, we didn't, we didn't change anything. The only thing I did with this is put a new coat of paint on it. It is 100% the stock 6S Zeus that you get during the, um, during the campaign for one of the DLCs. It might have been Kestrel Lancers. I don't really remember. Um, but yeah, it is it is insane. Like, I, it drives me crazy that more people don't talk about the Zeus. Uh, but again, and enough nerding out. Enough nerding out. Let's get the repairs underway, and let's get the ship underway so that we can complete this damn mission. 
I'm sitting. I, you guys are getting me sidetracked. You're getting me sidetracked. I'm over here running my mouth about a million different things instead of instead of getting on with it. God damn it! Y'all came here for stompy robots, and there ain't been no robot stomping in a good five, ten minutes. No, no, we're not doing Kestrel Lancers. 44 days. I'm sorry, Christian. We helped you last time. You're gonna have to free yourselves this time around. I'm sorry. All right, we're gonna take Max Salvage, as you do. We'll fill in the rest with sea bills. 26 days to get everything put back together. Um. Yeah, I'm good with it. I'm good with it. Let's make it hot. Again, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. We're right around the tonnage limit that we need to be. The lance is good. The mechs are rebuilt. The pilots are in good shape. Fuck it. Let's get it done. Oh, don't get me wrong, Rickety. Or Ricky. I, I can 100%. We, we can do some mech bay heresy on a Zeus. It's just... I, again, the, the baseline design is so good on its own, I just didn't see a reason to change it. Like, maybe if it loses some parts, I may end up doing some Mech Bay Heresy on it, but in its default configuration, it's performing just fine. Attention. For oh, departure. looks like it's gonna be another dark mission. I'm, I'm, I'm standing clear. Oh my god. This visibility. After that, this calls for predator vision, chat. Let's see, if we switch over to night vision... I mean... The yet another night vision is actually okay. Because it cuts, I mean, it shouldn't cut through the visibility like this, but it does. Guys. Guys. Y you okay? Northman? Why? God damn it, North. Look. So, for those of you that were here for the vanilla campaign and you've been hanging around a while, you'll know. I've been bitching at Northman for months. He is always the one at the back of the pack. No matter what make I put him in, he is always the one bringing up the rear. I swear. Well, I know he's slow this time, but once upon a time, we put him in the fastest mech in the company and he was still bringing up the rear. We got a Trev, we got a Rifleman. Alright, you guys handle the Rifleman, I'll go deal with the Trev. It's a long-range Treb, so he's going to be having a bad time here in just a second. Then hit all the buttons. You can turn your arm to me if you want me to shoot your arm off instead. That didn't take quite as long as I thought it would. Enemy forces continuing to converge on your location. Stay frosty, Commander. All right, where are you gonna come down? Moving to your six, Commander. On me, donkeys. Hey now, hey now, Disco Inferno. Don't don't you be doing that? Nah, I'm I'm joking. We're all degenerates here. Bringing up the rear or bringing it up the rear? Oh, that's a giggity. Oh, we got a Cyclops and we got a Cyclops. All right. I'll, I'll let the guys get up here and then uh, let them make the mistake of getting a little closer before we roll out here and, uh, and give them the business. As 
as opposed to what? Cuddle mech? Like... Oh no! Come here so I can headshot you. I'm not really gonna use a Cyclops, but I think it would be fun to have one. Get headshotted, nerd. Who lost the part? Who lost the part? Would you doofuses stop looping around me? You're good. Nobody lost a part. Why are you bitching about losing components? Nobody lost components. Well, to be fair to the old cartoon, it was... It was one of those things, and it, it was a weird product of the 80s. Is it? Holy shit, Chad, it's a melee battle master. I am taking you apart, my dude. I am taking you apart. I didn't know that there was a mech made just for me, but I think I just found it. Yeah, that was probably not a good idea. I'm excited, chat. Forgive me. I need to get back on the right vision mode. Outstanding. Outstanding. Anyway, uh, in fairness to the cartoon, uh, it was part of that weird part of the 80s when, like, there were a lot of franchises that were getting Saturday morning cartoons that didn't really meet them or it was weird that they were getting Saturday night or Saturday morning cartoons. Like, that was the era of the Rambo cartoon and the Robocop cartoon. Like, those are 100% rated R movies that no kid had any business watching and yet, they got Saturday morning cartoons as well. Like, it, it was that. It was that era. And that's the thing, like, kids, in general, when Battletech first came out, were not really... They were not really interested in Battletech. It was more of an adult game. And then, you know, here comes this... Here comes this cartoon. And suddenly it got kids into the game, and they had, like, like, they had the whole toy line with it and everything. It was crazy. I still remember the Battletech toys. Man, I wanted the Bushwhackers so bad. I kept asking for it, but my parents never got me toys when I was a kid. Like, some kids wanted Barbies. I wanted a Bushwhacker. I don't need Barbie's dream house if I've got a mauler. Whoops. Target received. Engaging. As you can see, because I've been I, I've taken some damage to the torso and the arm, I am I'm kinda hanging back at this point. Trying not to yeah. lose any of the very oh, rare components that we have here. Barbie's Malibu dropship. Mnemonic man, resubscribe in a tier one for five months. Thank you for the five months of support, Mnemonic man. Sam Barbie's Malibu dropship. I agree. I mean, I look. I would have taken Barbie's Malibu dropship. I would have been all up in that. It it is this? It's just a catapult. It's just jumping away. Oh no! You lost your missile rack. About to lose more than that, buddy. So we lost one of the short burst lasers and the SRM. That's unfortunate. Go into the darkness. Alright. 
So we got four more enemies, and two of them are vehicles. So they're gonna drop off some mechs. They're dropping a Wolverine and a Treb. All right, so we need to take the Treb. I don't know. Let me see, do I have a vision mode? Okay, there we go. Actually, you know what? Yeah, I'll focus on the Wolverine. I can probably handle a trip. If I get up close... You stay away. You stay away. Stop it. Uh, let's see, I don't... Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm out of range. I was hoping I could hit those vehicles way over there with a the large laser, but... I'm out of range. I mean, the Monic Man, have you seen the, the mech paint jobs that we were doing during the vanilla campaign? Because it wasn't far off from Barbie's Malibu Pe Barbie... Barbie Malibu Pink. It was it was ugly as sin. Wilco, focusing fire. As it should be. Focus target updated. Well, I was hoping that we would be able to stick around and maybe get some more kills for some more salvage, but uh, Here's the, the cards were not gonna lay for us like that this time around. It was just not in the cards for us. Well, I will say this for you, Steve. While we are not necessarily anti-clanner in this mercenary company, we, uh... We, we maybe don't share a lot of your... proclivities as a clan supporter. Uh, as I have famously said many times before, Honor is for losers and for clanners, which is basically the same thing. I think it's safe to pull a Remember to key it. Now. This should give the Tamarind Mining Company enough leverage to claim the land from the settlers. Or, or to Not put sure it the way that I'm sure someone in chat job. will very it shortly, uh, clanners get folks. Time to cash out and ship out. And if you get that joke, you're too much of a battle. You're too much of a battle tank nerd. Easy now, easy now, easy now. Don't, don't go getting all up in Steve's business. I mean, you know, we, we've got some Capellans in the company. We've even got some Blakists in the company. We accept all comers. And Coomers. And Coomers. All right, let's see. Can we get the Battlemaster? Oh, chat, look. Look. I mean, I destroyed all the equipment worth having on the damn thing. But it's still got the engine core, and we have exactly as many picks as we need. I mean, we are... We are dangerously close to having a full Battlemaster squad. I'm gonna take it. I mean, I've. The problem is we're doing all these missions and then I'm keeping the mechs instead of instead of selling them, so we're not actually making any money. Let's see. We got an AC-20 burst fire, a flamer, and an an Artemis uh, LRM-20. Nice. And we got a reputation rank up. 
Outstanding. Outstanding. Via transmissions. Stop the launch. Okay. Alright, let's have a look at the mechs. Uh, again, we lost a short burst laser and the SRM, but I think we've got the equipment to replace that. I mean, we do, it just may not be the same tier. Oh, no, we got everything we need. Out fucking standing. You love to see it. Uh, but since we finished up this narrative chain, instead of me spending a bunch of money on uh, conflict zone repairs, let's head to an industrial hub. And wouldn't you know it, we got an industrial hub right here, so we can hit the hub and then jump down here and grab this elite pilot. So let's do that. Oh, we got another campaign mission here, so maybe we can hit that on our way back out. But for right now, we'll check out the transmission and the industrial zone. Yeah, for sure, Grundler. Like, I, I'm, don't get me wrong, I'm not complaining that I'm keeping the Battlemaster instead of selling it, because I love me some Battlemaster, and it's it's gonna be a good workhorse for us in the late game. But, uh, at the same time, the more mechs we keep, the less mechs we sell, and the less money we have. And all those mechs that we're keeping are getting blown up, so we're gonna then have to go and put in the work and the money to get them put back together. Correct. Yeah. What's up has the right of it. At the at the auxiliary, we roll with clan meth weasel. <coughs> Which, for those of you that don't know, BPL and the auxiliary. Good folks over there. They's good people. They's good people. Let me, as a matter of fact, because we, we don't do that enough. So first of all, if you don't know who Tex is, Mr. The Tex. Uh, over at the Black Pants Legion, on the YouTubes. Great dude, great fucking guy. Creates a lot of great Battletech content, and a lot of other good content as well. Um, definitely has a flair for uh, filmmaking and history, which, I mean, I don't know if you picked that up in his stuff, but if you don't know who Tex is, definitely go check him out. He's a badass individual. He is he is an inspiration to me as well. He is part of the reason that I even decided to to start on this adventure. So, you know, if it hadn't been for Tex and seeing him do that and saying, you know, hey, maybe there is a place for Battletech nerds out there, then it never would have inspired me to, to get into this as well. And if you do not know about the BPL, then allow me to hit you with some more knowledge. Uh, WBPL76 is the Twitch channel for the the Black Pants Legion, and also uh, a lot of, I mean, they're basically running 24-7 over there. Um, the, the BPL is live almost all the time. Uh, they have a rotation of different people that come in, they play a bunch of different games over there. So uh, if you like Tex, he also shows up on WBPL from time to time. Usually on Mondays and Fridays, although he does show up on the weekends occasionally. Um, so yeah, if if you don't know Battletech, if you don't know the BPL, check him out. Again, good people over there. And, and definitely worth a follow, a subscribe, definitely worth your time. I mean, I could give shout outs to, to Battletech content creators all day, but... I, I do not stop often enough to thank Tex and the Black Pants Legion because, again, like I said, they are they are a major part of the reason that I ever decided to do this in the first place. So, uh, oh, here we go, bulwark. So we get a Griffin, we get a large laser, we get a pilot. Oh, we're mostly here for the pilot. Um, let's see, the contract is not here apparently. What? Oh, that's for a different pilot. Okay, got it. Got it. Well, shit. I wasn't... I wasn't trying to do two pilot things, but I guess we can do two pilot things. Uh, alright. Well, first, first, we need to get the stuff done. We need to get these repairs done. Like, that's the whole reason we came to an industrial zone, so let's do that. First off... Get the repairs underway. Uh, 
Um, the Griffin 1P we've already stripped down, so let's go ahead and sell it. We're not on great terms with uh, Steiner right now, so they're not giving us very good prices, but that's okay. Um, let's see. So the 1M Battlemaster. I, I kind of want to build this thing up, but we're already down to under seven, or 30 million uh, C-bills. Uh, let's see, what can we do? If we repair all... God, look at it. Look at it. We don't have an Assault Claymore, though. Do we have one on the market? No, but they... Oh, God. Chat, do we weeb out this Battlemaster and give it a katana? Alright, we're doing it. As a matter of fact, he here's here's another thing. Here's a fun thing. Look at this. They have three of them. So you know what we can do? They're not that expensive. I can buy all three. And then we can go straight into the workshop and upgrade it. Ah, oh, you can't upgrade melee weapons. That's that's ass. That is ass. Oh, well. Yeah, and I know the Claymore will do more damage. It does 82 damage versus this thing only doing 57. But we don't have an Assault Claymore. So, I mean, for now, it's got to be the Katana because that's, that's all we got. Although I could put the Battle Axe in. Chad, do we Battle Axe instead? What do you think? I know it's getting pretty late, but I'm, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm doing a poll. I'm doing a poll. I'm doing it. All right, Chet, it's going to be a quick poll. It's only going to be one minute, so get ready. Get ready to put your votes in. I'm letting you guys decide what we're going to put on this thing. There you go. If you don't see the poll, refresh your stream. You should see it at the top. One minute. Are we going to make this thing into a wee battle master, or are we going to make it a Viking battle master? I mean, we, we can make it a weeb master. We, we can absolutely do that. That's, I'm, I'm giving you guys the opportunity. You guys decide. I mean, it's, it's pretty close. It's pretty close. The weebs have got it, but Vikings, you, you could overtake. You could overtake. It's very, very close. Uh, Steve, we... Gauss rifles are part of the base game, but we... I have a lot of the yet another mods, so there are different variants of the Gauss in the game, which are not part of the base game. And man, look at that. By one vote. By one fucking vote. The Weebs won it. By one vote. Well, there you go. Alright, you guys made the decision. Now keep in mind... The katana is going to not do as much damage, but it will be lighter. So, you know, there's there's trade-offs. So the battle axe is 7 tons for 80 damage. The katana is 6 tons for 57 damage, basically 60 damage. But, but, when you look at the DPS, it's about the same. Because the cooldown on the axe is almost double the cooldown on the katana. So we're going to be swinging like a crazy person. All right, now with that, we need to figure out how we're gonna do the rest of the weapon systems in this thing. Because with a melee weapon, we're not gonna have as much room for lasers. Now, that doesn't matter to me because I'm all about them lasers. Because I could say, 
just give me all the medium lasers, just turn it into a giant medium laser boat. That gives us plenty of room to play with. It's got single heat sinks in it, but that's okay. I'm, I'm okay with putting a few double heat sinks in it, at least for now. Now, if we give this to the AI or something and they get it blown up, then I'm not going to replace the double heat sinks. But because the engine heat sinks are relatively protected, I have absolutely no problem putting some doubles in there. Um, next up, because we don't have the machine guns, which aren't really contributing to the damage, we can instead put in some SRMs, as you do. And let me see, ammo. As usual, ammo goes in the feet. You know the rules, and so do I. So let's take that, and we'll say instead of a medium laser, we can put in a large laser. And then we'll stick in one more heat sink. And there we go. Actually, you know what? Heat sinks go in the feet. Again, you know the rules, and so do I. Ammo goes in the center torso. No, no. Ammo goes in the feet. Always. Always. If you have room in the feet and you have ammo, it goes in the feet. Again, you know the rules, and so do I. I don't make the rules, chat. I just make sure they get enforced. Now here's the problem with the large laser though, and and we don't have this thing maxed out on armor, and that could be an issue. Now most of the armor is maxed out on the torso and all that, so we're good there, but we could drop the large laser, turn it into a medium, and up the armor. Don't, don't try to apply logic to Battletech, Steve. That doesn't work. That is a fool's errand. Battletech is big, dumb sci-fi. It, it's not meant to make sense. And if you're trying to make sense of it, you're going to drive yourself insane. There we go. All the lasers, plus some missiles, and a big-ass sword. I mean, you can't ask for much more than that. Right? Alright, let's do it. We're gonna start the work on it. It's gonna be expensive, but it's a battle master, and battle masters are always good. And you know what? Because it's a battle master, I'm going to forego the standard. And the only reason I'm doing that is because I want to name it. Do we call it the weeb master? Oh, was there free tonnage on it? Did I miss that? It's fine. Once once it gets rebuilt, then I'll put uh, a couple more heat sinks into it or something else. We'll, we'll fix it up. Don't worry. So what's it going to be? Give me your give me your best names. What what are we calling the Weeb Master? I can call it the Weeb Master. Or we can call it something else. What do you get? Give me your names. I can't promise I'm going to use it, but I'm looking for good stuff. Oh, we blacker. We blacker. We got a contender. We got we got a contender. All right, all right. I I think I think we hit. I mean, 
Yeah, I, I, I think Weeb Whacker is it. I, I think that's the winner, for sure. And the reason I like Weeb Whacker is because... There's layers on this one, chat. There's layers. Like, there are so many different meanings to this. I like it. It's an onion. It's got layers. We're gonna do it. Alright, outstanding. So that's all the work that we need to get done. Um, it has been six hours, and this is when I was planning to cut the stream, but I told you guys we were gonna get ourselves a pilot. Uh, and mostly that's because we still have names on the list. So, by God, we're gonna get a pilot. Come hell or high water. So. Um... This one is probably the fastest one to do because this is only a single contract whereas this one is going to require us to do two different contracts and they're both defense contracts which can be pretty lengthy. Um, I'll tell you what, we're going to go out here, we're going to do this single one and then when we start the stream next time we can work our way back into the inner sphere as we try to do some more stuff. So, we'll head out to Lothario and we'll pick up one of these guys. One of the elite pilots. Ammo in Battletech is load bearing, yes. It's also ablative armor. If you're playing the crit game against machine guns and stuff. Alright, contracts. Here's our contract for the mission. The people of Lothario are on the verge of rioting against the local government. Is this the right one? D ass. Did I just go to the wrong fucking planet? Track. Let me make sure this is the right place. I might have just gone to the wrong planet. No? No, it's this planet. Okay, alright. Well, that's the only contract out here, so let's do it. Uh-oh. Guys. Guys. Listen, I found the military nerd in chat. I found him. I, I think their name is Dai... Esco? Hi. Dura? Yeah, I don't know. New guy. Never seen him before. Get that guy. That's the military nerd chat. Get him. Nah, I'm- I'm fucking with you. I'm a military nerd, too. I can relate. Oh no, don't- trust me, I- Trust me, Disco, I- I am 100% right there with you. Uh, as- As the Quartermaster himself says, we are all but sailors on a sea of shitposts. So, I- I'm- I'm right there with you. You are amongst friends. If if you like the BPL, you you are amongst friends here for sure. Uh wow, holy shit. Look at that tonnage limit on this thing. Good lord. Alright, well, you know what? We haven't done this today. But you know what time it is? We're still gonna be over tonnage, but we're not really doing this for the salvage. It's time. It is time. There we go. Crab Squad is a go, chat. We have not done Crab Squad this whole stream. And all was quiet now is the time. On the galactic front. Let's see, who else? Grid who else? Uh, Auntie's got some affinity. Alright, here we go. Again, everything returns to Crab. And so have we. At the end of the stream, for the last mission of the stream, everything returns to Crab. Let's make it hot. So for those of you that may be new to the stream or don't understand what these crabs are, 
We have basically removed all of the equipment from them, we've up-armored them, put bigger engines in them, and given them two large lasers. That's it. It's minimal, but by God, it does the job. Why don't you worry, Rihanna. We specialize in collateral damage in this company. When you need a parking lot, call Untactical Operations, cause we're, we're the cheapest option available. Yeah, you're goddamn right, give them the clamps. Give them the clamps! So all we're doing is reaching the garrison at the marked checkpoint. Oh my. Uh oh. Engage me, daddy. Engage me, daddy. Wait, what? I don't take that out of context. Get out of the way, you doofus! Yeah, I see you over there with your AC5 bullshit. Don't worry, I'm coming. Oh, I see you over there with your AC2 bullshit. Get out of here with that. Get out of my face with that AC2 bullshit. You better hope the lasers get you, because if not, my feet will. That must be one of the tanks we contracted for. Oh, that's a manticore. That's a hell of a thing to just be showing up in one of these missions. Brilliant. Would you interdict me? I'd interdict me. Yeah, so for those of you that don't get the would you intercept me, then clearly you have not checked out Habitual Line Crosser on the YouTubes. Uh, military Man does uh, military themed shorts. Outstanding fucking content creator. Outstanding fucking content creator. Please, please do yourself a favor and go fucking check out Habitual Line Crosser. If you are a military nerd, you will not regret it. Alright, there we go, there we go. Oh, looks like the turret cartel has been here. We got a cicada over here. Let's burn him down with some large laser spam, as you do. Hey, I brought large lasers too, buddy. Oh, you brought flamers. That's no. Get away! Get away from me with that fire. I like fire, unless it's coming out of me and going into you. Let's, uh, let's burn this javelin down. Watch it. My last kill is about to oh. Shit. Shit, I, I've been- I've been doing the dumb. We're not here to kill shit, we're here to demolish the base. And I've been killing shit instead of demolishing the base. My bad. My bad! Alright, building inspection time, let's go. 
let's let's check the structural integrity here. Let's make sure everything's up to code. I mean, again, if you want a parking lot, that's that's one of the few things we excel at. They had windows. Yeah, they actually had a couple of windows on some of these buildings. Sadly, I couldn't see all the rooms, so we had to do an interior inspection by force. You hate to see it, but, you know, these things happen. There we go. Uh, well, we're done. Now we just need to leave. Now we just need to leave. But I'll be more than happy to smoke one more trip before we get on the leopard. Go into the darkness. Good lord. I hear VTOL spam. I hear VTOL spam. There it is. You can set your watch by it. Now we can leave. No. No. I gave it the office. No. There we go. There we go. Well, you, you say that, bro Fisticus, but you've been here long enough to know. that That's not just the bloodlust, that's just me being dumb. I like to shoot, I like to brawl, I, I like to get in fights. And so as a direct result of that, when I'm, when I'm in a mission to do something other than that, I get distracted. Often. And easily. All right, only 14 picks because we were over tonnage on that. Uh, I think we just take the cicada and sell it. I mean, we cord it out, but it's whatever. It'll be a little bit of extra money for us. Uh, and I'll fill out the wrist with Frank's Red Hot, as you do. There we go. Unfortunately, Mate took a little damage there. I'm not sure why, because his mech is not in bad shape at all. Uh, let's see. Blah, blah, blah. Get moving. Have more. Oh, God bless it. So there is going to be more than one mission here, as it turns out. Son of a bitch. I well, it says there's a transmission here, but there is no transmission here. So... Yeah. I guess we don't get the pilot yet. Time is money and we are wasting both. Yeah, we, we, we do not get the pilot yet. So what do I just have to wait? I probably should have read the thing. Like I, I don't I don't read the emails. I probably should have read the email. All right, uh, I'll tell you what, if he wants us to wait, I'll wait. I'll give him until the crabs are done. I'll give him until the crabs are done. Okay. The crabs are finished. Chad, is there a way for me to go back and read the email that I fast-forwarded through? Uh, let's see. I think this is the thing. Ah, uh, here we go. There we go. So where does that put us? I have good news and bad news. The good news is that not only will I keep a secret about your little war crime party. Look, I'm a mercenary. We do war crimes as a business. It's fine. Don't worry about it. 
Help me clear out this scum that's causing all the trouble. The bad news, you have about two companies of bloodthirsty pirates bearing down on you as we speak. You need to move fast. I'm sending you coordinates for a good, defensible location where you have the best chance of survival. Get moving. Okay. Um... You're sending me where? I'm confused. Because this is the thing that we're tracking. It's, it's not... Like, we finished this. They didn't actually send us any coordinates. Like, I don't... I don't, uh... Yeah, except the problem is, there's no missions here. Like, I can only leave. I can't do anything. Like, there's no missions available, unless, I mean, I can go back in here and then back in. Sometimes that fixes it, but, like, if it's supposed to be on the same planet, there's nothing available. Quest port. Okay, well, I mean, so much for that then. Well, I was hoping we would get a pilot, but apparently, uh, MechWarrior 5 said no to that. But, you know what? I promised you guys a fucking pilot. We're gonna get a pilot. We're gonna get a pilot. We'll head back to the industrial zone. Well, we had- we had a similar bug during the vanilla campaign, like, even- even without mods. We- we had a similar issue where, like, you would need to accept a- uh, a transmission in order to progress, but the thing to show you the transmission wouldn't actually show up unless you, like, went into the leopard and then back out to the menu and then it would show up. So, I mean, I thought it was maybe one of those things, but clearly it was not. Let's get a uh, let me see. Let me let me Tommy's check the star map now and see if it showed up. Yeah, see, now it says there's a transmission there. We can try going back there some other time, but I'm not going to do it right now. Um, let's see. No hero mechs available. However, however, wait, they have they have binary short burst lasers as well. Look at that. But however, this is what I saw. Large pulse laser. Yes, please. I believe I will. Alright. Just look at the mechs here. Just to see what they got for sale. You never know. Nothing good. Alright, star map. I promised you a pilot. We're gonna get a pilot. Yeah, Brofisticus, I mean, it happens. And, and I'm, again, I mod a lot of the games that I play, so I am, I am well acquainted with the fact that sometimes mods just don't work as intended, and they break, and it happens. Especially when you're running this many mods in a game that is notoriously not fond of you modding it, so... You know, it's it's whatever. If it's busted, it's busted. We're just not gonna get that pilot. We'll, we'll get another pilot instead. The pilot of the shit hook fucking hit the elevation guide pole. Oof. That's an oof. But welcome backers. Good to see you. Glad to have you. Hopefully the op went well. Or, uh, hopefully you didn't get blown up this time. But glad to have you all the same. You're catching us towards the end of the stream. I was gonna, I was actually gonna shut it down here pretty quickly, but then, uh, the pilot that we were gonna do was, uh, busted. The quest didn't work, so... I promised Chad a pilot, so we're gonna get a goddamn pilot. And so here we are, taking another set of missions. And we're gonna do it in style. Grab squad as a go. Yeah, yeah, we gave a Battlemaster a katana. Now, to be fair, I left it up to Chad. We had an option between a katana and an axe, and Chad picked the katana. So, if 
if you're if you're getting your your undergarments in a wad over a battle master with a katana, then you, you gotta blame chat for that. These farmlands are prime targets for hostile forces. Which, by the way, in case you didn't see it, uh, what what is the button? You can't really tell. Time to earn our pay, everyone. But in case you didn't see it, if you look at the skeleton on the crab, it's not actually a skeleton, it's crab legs. So just FYI, in case you didn't know that. In case you weren't paying attention or you hadn't caught that detail. Uh, let's see, we need, we need some better vision. So let's get some night vision on and we are, oh, we're just defending, okay. Okie dokie. Yep, we're gonna give him the clamps. I told you guys, crab squad is a go. So we're gonna do it with crabs. I don't even know who the fuck you are, dude. This is a Wendy's. Time to get legged, nerd. It is time to get legged. And there you go. Oh, look at that. They're throwing another charger at us. Additional contacts just cross the perimeter, Commander. Expect company soon. Guys. Shoot at the charger, please. I know there's some concern because it's a charger and it's surrounded by trees, but the longer it takes us to kill this thing, the more enemies are going to show up. Guys, where, where are you going? The enemy's over here. I'm over here getting into melee range of a charger because of you doofuses. Alright, now let's get back out here to open ground. Reject monkey, embrace crab. Correct. We'll go. Focusing fire. Reject monkey, embrace crab. Or I'm sorry. Reject monka, embrace crab. That's an LRM boat. You guys go get him. Take care of that harasser. There's an LRM carrier over here and it needs to die. There you are. Get wrecked, nerd. We're being followed. What are we being followed by? Man, it, I, I've been I've been in so many heavy and assault mechs this stream. I I kind of forgot how nippy these crabs are. Like they they got some maneuverability. Forgot about that. Let's see. Oh, that's an SRM carrier. All right. Crabs do indeed scuttle. Well, so for those of you that don't know, my ultimate plan for Crab Squad is to get a king crab that can be in charge of Crab Squad. Like, we have plenty of crab, but we need king crab in order to complete the set. Guys, there's three of you and only one of him. Why is this taking so long? Coordinate fire on the commander's target. Whoops. 
I hope that greenhouse wasn't important. Oh, let me let me see that boxy face of yours. Uh-huh. Whatever you say, Bubba. I swear, it's like they're intentionally using the buildings to screen themselves from me. I'm gonna get you. There we go. There we go. You know what? Get double barreled. Get double barreled. Nerd. Come here. I wanna punch you. I haven't given anybody the clamps yet. Come here. Come here, you little donkey. Why are you running away? Fine, I'll shoot you in the leg. Quiet, Rihanna. Get the clamps. Get the clamps. Uh-oh, now you ain't got no arms to punch back. Get clamped. Oh, I'm gonna give you the clamps. You better come here. You better come here. There we go. Gave him the clamps. No, no, I didn't want to talk. I wanted to give him the clamps. To your target, Commander. I mean, you guys have done a great job of diligently following me around, but in case you forgot, I didn't actually send you after that target, so you should be attacking the thing I told you to attack instead of following me. Just FYI. Man, would you stop wrecking this place? Give me your arms, nerd. Give me your arms, nerd. Get the clamps. Get the clamps. I'm gonna take that other arm in just a second. I'm gonna take that other arm in just a second. I don't care if you shoot SRMs at me. I'm just worried about you punching back. Get clamped. Get clamped again. Oh, it's over now. It's over now. It's over now. I'm, I'm gonna take way more damage than I should, but I'm, I'm actually enjoying this. Come here. Come here. Get clamped. Get clamped. Get clamped again and again. Congratulations, Commander. These people Did I need to beat the mission that way? No. But it was fun as hell. I regret nothing. Did a four gun fire mission on a British FOB. Posted a recording of the impacts and the game's route on the Discord. So, wait, if you were. If you were killing Redcoats, what the hell? I mean, were you playing Arma? What were you actually playing that you were killing British people? Were you playing, like, Insurgency or something? Uh, let's see. Only 18 picks? Yeah, I'll take the Trev and sell it. And, uh, we got four picks besides... I'll take an SRM Inferno. We'll probably never use it, but I'll take it anyway. Uh, all right. Now, battle mechs. If I remember right, uh, the weeb master that we were putting together... Uh, where is it? I'm sorry, it's the weeb whacker. The weeb whacker. Um, it doesn't... Oh, it is under tonnage. Okay, so we need to... We need to stick a couple more things in there. I think it'll probably just be... It'll just be some heat sinks. Not a big deal. Uh, heat sink and heat sink. There we go. Alright, now, 
on to the next mission, which is up the road a piece in Z Dice. I know that's not how you put, pronounce that, but I'm not Polish. I would have done feet sinks, Elijah, but we already had the feet filled up with ammo and feet sinks. The ammo always has to go in the feet first, then the heat sinks. Alright, let's see. Training day. Another defense mission? Alright, fair enough. No, 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 that's what I was saying, no, Karen. You always put the ammo in the feet first, and then the heat sinks. But it's always got to be the ammo first. Also, I forgot to repair our mechs, because I'm an idiot. Alright, there we go. Much better. Um, yeah, I think everything's good. We'll just wait for the repairs. It's only going to take 14 days, and then we're going to get stuck in. So as always, let's make it hot, Chad. Shortening it to FAMO makes some weird sense then. I mean, you, you must have some kind of military background, because military loves their abbreviations and acronyms. We anticipate that their objective is to raise this facility to the ground. Do not let that happen. Nothing on scopes at the moment, but don't get comfortable. Hostiles have been reported in the area. I like that Rihanna says nothing on scopes when I can clearly see at least three tangos on scopes. Just adding to the whole Rihanna and Darius went to the same school mystique. Like, I, I don't know what tactical school she went to, but I bet you Darius attended, too. An ass assassin, eh? That sounds like an Igor. It's an Igor. You jackass! You could have survived at least another 10 seconds if you had just stayed out of my way. Oh, I'm, I'm, ac I'm actively walking through the thing I'm supposed to defend. Alright, let's, let's take down this charger quickly, folks. It's just meant to soak damage. It is just meant to soak damage. Please focus down the charger. There we go. Trying to take care of all these straggler vehicles. Hoping that my people can at least keep their shit together long enough to not die. Yeah, that's a thing that's gonna happen. I can't kill everything. Go, go kill the enemies, you guys. Don't follow me, kill the enemies. Dish has been brought down. I'm gonna give you the clamps. I'm gonna give you the clamps. You better run. You better run. I'm gonna give you the clamps. Get clamp. Get clamp. Guys, if at any point you wanted to like kill literally anything, I I wouldn't I wouldn't be averse. I would not be angry if you guys could just take out a target. 
My dude, this would be a lot easier if you weren't bitching in my ear every 10 seconds. How about you let me quarterback this thing, and uh, if you're still alive by the time it's all over, then we can talk about your evaluation of my performance. Also, it just occurred to me, you guys might not be able to actually see what's going on in the sky, so I was, I was shooting at a beetle. I apologize. Like, I could barely see it, and then I was like, well, you guys probably can't see shit. Yeah, we, we be pinching them cheeks. We do be pinching cheeks. Uh oh. Uh oh. Lieutenant Wolverine, you only got one leg. You soon to have no legs. Uh oh. Your leg armor's gone. And now you're dead. I'm gonna get you. You better run. I'm gonna get you. You better run. Get clamped. Get clamped. Is that it? Yep, that's it. Outstanding. Out. Standing. Yeah, I was just thinking about the whole, you know, Darius and Rihanna going to the same tactical school. Do you think that they have, like, in the Battletech universe, those shitty online colleges that are like, Learn how to be a fucking brain surgeon in three and a half days with our online courses. And then, like, you spend a thousand dollars on this online course and then find out that your degree is completely worthless and people just laugh you out of the building. You're like, but I got an accredited degree from dumb shit university. And they're like, yeah, that's because you're a dumb shit. All right, let's see. 27 picks. That means we can take the charger. I mean, I'm just going to sell it. But, uh... Ooh, or... Or... We could take the Trib and the Assassin and sell both of those. There we go. Double mech salvage. Two for... Two for... Oh, yeah. It's all coming. Chad, I think we're going to have to change the voice on this one, too. Alright, let's see what we get out of this. Um, the tri- you know what, all of these, I'm just going to sell all these. Like, I'm not even going to bother stripping them down. Uh, yeah, that's- that's not worth stripping. What do we got? Assassin, yeah, not worth it. Trib. Nah, that's all tier zero gear, I'll go ahead and get rid of it. And then we got the griffin. And this is just a 1S griffin, so it's not anything special. Like, this is this is about as basic bitch as a griffin can get. So, I know it's a brand new mech, but uh, it's getting sold. I'm not even going to strip that one either. I'm just going to sell it. Signed up for the course in Mandarin, you have to pay up the charge to get in the English. Yeah. A date. I think I have a sound bug? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Chad, I don't know if you see this. The game is chugging hard. No, no, no. Like, look at the frame rate on the flashing for Star Map. The game is chugging hard. Let me check my performance. Uh, no, I mean, everything's good. It's not eating up memory or anything. Let me, can I escape? Escape. Okay, there we go. We're good. We're good, chat. We're good. Holy crap. I was scared there for a second.
Yeah, computer actively going up in flames. Nah, that's what I was thinking for just a second. Now that's the thing, Polly. I couldn't actually switch tabs or anything, so I was like, uh-oh. So I basically just started spamming escape, hoping that it would back me out of the menu. So we're good. Everything is good. Alright. With that said, Chad, it's been six and a half hours. I think it's time for me to call it a night. I'm gonna let you guys get to your Saturday or Sunday, whatever, whatever day it is for you. Let you guys get back to your weekend. Um, so I'm gonna call it here, but we did, we did some good work. We did some good work in the inner sphere, and we just got ourselves a pilot. As a matter of fact, before we go, before we go, uh, I will, I will work on getting this pilot put together sometime down the line. But for right now, we can at least rename them. And let's see who the next name on the list is. Ah, well, there we go. We've got... Jacob Bronski is our is our next name on the list. I don't know if you're out there, Jacob. I know I haven't seen you today, or at least I didn't see you in chat. But Jacob Bronski is next on the list. I'm just... You know what? You're just going to be Bronski. And uh, I'll, I'll look at customizing the pilot a little bit later down the line. But for right now, Jacob Bronski is the next name. I just... The voice, though. The voice, though. All right, so let me mark off Jacob Bronski off the list. There we go. And we are good. So, with that being said, let us drop a save, Chet. As you do, better safe than sorry. Always remember to drop a manual save. Don't rely on your autosaves, because uh, they can and will fuck you sometimes. Alright, now let's head back to the office. Let's head back to the office and we'll wrap up the stream. Angry mech bay noises. Angry mech bay noises. There we go. Uh, let me take care of that. Take care of that. Just... Just turn a couple of other things off real quick. There we go. All right, Chet. Well, first of all, we had a good day. We had a good day. We finished up the Kestrel Lancers DLC. We managed to complete a few other missions. We got ourselves two, two Hero Max. We got ourselves the Hero Rifleman, the Legend Killer, and we got the Hero Black Knight as well. So uh, our hero mech collection is growing, and uh, the the Ultra AC5s were a little bit weird. I don't know if they're bugged or what's going on, but um, it might be a tier thing. It might be a bug. I'm not 100% sure. I was, I was a little worried about that, so we didn't play with the Black Knight as much as I wanted to, but... I'll see if I can figure it out. I, I'll I'll do some searching on the Google machine and see if I can figure out like if that's a bug that people have seen before, um, and what we might be able to do about it. So who knows? I don't know. But aside from that, we made some decent money. We made some progress. We've also now got three battle masters put together as well. So the heavy lance is coming along. The heavy lance is coming along nicely, and I do like me some battle masters. So uh, it it has been. It has been a good run today. We have made a lot of progress. Uh, sadly, we did turn down the Rise DLC this time around because we already did that during the vanilla campaign and I wanted to spend more time doing some of the other DLCs. So we'll see. We'll see what we get into next time. Um, aside from that, again, I, I, think, I think we did well. I think we did well. We got ourselves another pilot as well right at the end of the stream. So the world, or I guess the galaxy, is our oyster on the next stream, so I'm not sure what we'll do. I think we're going to head back towards the Galactic Core, though, or at least start trying to work on some more of the narrative missions. we kind of been chasing those transmissions all over the galaxy, so uh, we'll probably keep doing that. I do want to try to start uh, Dragon's Gambit at some point, since we didn't get to do that one. Um, but but maybe, maybe, I don't know. We, we kind of made Chirita very, very angry at us, so maybe Dragon's Gambit we can save for another campaign. We'll see. We'll see. I'll have to think about it. So once again, thank you guys so, so, so much for coming out, for hanging out, for making this stream another outstanding one. I hope that the weekend and the rest of your day goes well, and I hope that you have a good one until the next time we see each other. And before we go, I want to remind you, like I always do, that your life has value. 
and that the world is a better place with you in it. Never let anyone tell you otherwise. And I'll see you next time. Thank you.